Check out this epic thread about doctors and about a lot of the whole food nutritionists, even holistic doctors you see online that are sharing information to help people literally reverse disease, prevent disease, all right? So average length of a doctor's visit is 17 minutes. Nutrition is barely covered in medical schools. Everybody pretty much knows this at that point. It's estimated that one in three American adults are pre diabetic Holy shit, one in three? And then 80% don't even know it. Here's a list of healthcare professionals who can help you answer the question, what should I eat? What you saying here, uh, you can fix your health and even reverse disease with their free content. It's amazing, right? And of course, even content that we're putting out here on Wild, content I've been putting out for years, writing about, newslettering about, etc. Like, you don't have to be a doctor to kind of test this stuff and figure this out for yourself. But it's nice when it comes to somebody that has had you know, the traditional training and they might actually be MDs and then they see through the BS and they're not captured by it like so many of the doctors are today that become just literal big farmer pill pushers, which is sad to say, but a lot of them are. That's just the system itself. So it's not an exhaust, exhaustive list, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so what she does is um, the main point she makes here is each different approach, have a different approach, but the common the theme is eat real food. Eat real food. That means get raw, real ingredients, go in your kitchen, cook the damn stuff. That's all, like, that's it. Stop being at restaurants as much as you can. Stop being at packages as much as you can. That's it. Like, you'll cut all the seed oils out of your diet if you do that. You'll eat less food because it's not highly refined and processed and loaded with other things to make it super tasty and, and basically short wire the dopamine receptors in your brain to want to eat more of it. Home-cooked real food, it's really hard to over overeat home-cooked real food, even if it's, like, delicious. You know, you're eating it, you're eating it, you're getting full, you're getting full because it's real freaking food. It fills you up. You don't need to eat bucket loads of it. She lists a bunch of doctors here, but you can kind of pause this and check some of these guys out. Here's another list. Here's even more. And then she says, uh, thanks for your readership. You know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I believe we, we should go back to the basics and primarily eat real food. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it really is as simple as that. Most people would solve 99% of their health problems if they stopped eating at restaurants and out of packages if they stop letting corporations cook their meals. You can let corporations offer you like some organic canned, uh, you know, red sauce in glass, right? Because the cans have BPA linings usually. And then you can take that home and you can make something with it. Like maybe make some spaghettiless meatball marinara thing, right? Or let corporations, you know, serve you up some sliced grass-fed, grass-finished beef in a package, in a vacuum seal package. You take that home, you fry it on each side, throw some uh, pastured butter on it, and just, like, you know, as good as a restaurant for a fraction of the price. That's what it's about. That's what all these doctors in this list are primarily recommending. And it's why they're preventing disease. They're reversing disease because it is based on getting to the root of why disease is happening in the first place. And disease is happening primarily through our food supply, through our water supply, through our environment and EMF and things like that, and our, you know, like other rabbit holes to go down. But food is the single greatest way that modern humans interact with the modern environment. And it's, you can see the effects. One in three are diabetic. Half or more, I think it's like 60% of Americans are considered quote unquote overweight based on BMI. And then even higher percent are like legit obese. Start with eat real food and then I'll add cooked at home. That's it. Eat real food, cooked at home.